Hey everyone, Merrix here bringing you another video. This one is going to be the stock watch on technicians. Uh, I do want to say uh, right off the gate, I know 5 Star Gold is now released. This list was done before 5 Star Gold was out. <clears throat> so this list is not reflecting 5 Star Gold um, changes, the stock watch. But that's okay, because uh, the whole idea behind the stock watch is that it's going to constantly be evolving. People's stocks will rise and fall. And uh, next month, we should have a lot of really cool options um, as far as whose stock we're buying and whose we're selling and whose went up and whose went down. So <clears throat> this list, uh, stock watch list, uh, we did before um, Five Star Gold was there. So... Uh, let's get started. Number one on our list was uh, Mutant Hogan, uh, Techno Hogan. I do not have him. Um, and the reason we put him number one is very similar uh, to Zombie Triple H. Once he starts going, which he does on turn one, he goes until the uh, opponent is dead. Uh, he just loops and loops for days. Uh, so extremely uh, powerful card. Um, looks awesome as well. And yeah, he's just that good of a card. We put him as our best tech uh, for his infinite uh, looping ability. Um, I'm sure if you watched my video, you saw basically what you're doing is you're constantly moving the pin bar, then you're making a five match, then you're moving the pin bar, then you're making a five match, uh, and you just keep going and going and going. So uh, he was a lot of fun to use, and he does a ton of damage. I know he's pretty rare. I'm not going to go super in-depth into him, but we decided, number one, because of the overall power. Not necessarily speed, but power. Um, so we had him as our number one um, tech and felt like he would hold up pretty well. So with that being said, let's put the uh, the list up. I'm sure a lot of people, the ticker up here, a lot of people are interested. Dawkins was number two. Another tech I do not have. Um, he is put number two primarily for the uh, the build, the blue, green, green build, where you're hitting the green moves that are super high damage, like 400k plus. Uh, and then the blue move, um, I want to say, is like hits for like 50k base-ish, and then uh, throws a bunch of greens out and recycles all of them. And you can start out with the green moves, you can start out with the blue moves, there's debate for that. Um, but Dawkins at 5 star silver, uh, we had as our number two tech, and there really wasn't too much uh, or any real debate on the one or two. Uh, I think everyone felt pretty good about those. Um, and the moveset, let's see if it shows at his recruit point, um, but it is the NBA Splash. No, it wasn't, was it? I don't think it, no, it wasn't the NBA Splash. It's the Spear, the Exploder Suplex, and the Standing Drop Kick, I believe, is the three. Um, and that it was and there's he also has other moves where you can do the cross breaks and hit a higher gem damage finisher I know a few people that run that move set. So there's a lot you can do with him um, Very solid card high damage uh, and recycles really well. So he was number two Now number three there was a pretty big debate as you might imagine um, knowing me and my love for tech drew um I thought he was number three, and uh, I got I got outvoted. Not by much. It was extremely close. Uh, so taking the number three spot is the head of the table, the tribal chief. Uh, we acknowledged him, and we have him at number three. Um, let's see if I can, I'll just sort this by text since we're talking about text. And um, big reason basically is. Um, he's the favorite card of one of the guys in a group. He uses them all the time. He uses them for showdown. He uses them for feud and he wins full life all the time. Um, so it's hard to argue with those results. Um, at, uh, five star silver, he's doing the, um, the break move, the destroy and the two reds, the trap gem and the hell steel. And that's how he runs him at five star silver. Um, here we go. Finally figured out where techs were on my roster. You can see my Roman I'm working on. I plan on taking him up. He's amazing. Um, 
the spear, the Samoan drop, and the the pump handle back suplex. Um, basically, uh, he does have aftershock on him. Aftershock's a pretty important plate for it. And uh, you recycle the the reds, and once he starts going, it's just hell steel after hell steel. Um, you can use the spear uh, to uh, recycle the reds um, at a high level. Um, he's destroying choose four to destroy. So what really makes him good before five star gold when that goes to five is if you have Ivar for a coach. I do not, but you would you would want aftershock on him and running him this way. Um, five star move as a sub there's yeah I, I, there's some debate you could maybe use the sub some too um at the five star silver level i think uh, that gets a lot better later on but we're not talking about that in this particular video so that is the move set he does have some utility with the botch gem um you know you're throwing random botch gems out in a really large area and the finisher is quite high damage off of those botch gems so um, that's a viable set too. Um, so he was number three mainly for the ability to specifically target and hunt those kickout guys in showdown like Memrock and Sako. Um, my my friend on the list on the on the stockbrokers with him uh, will constantly attack um, Trickster Rock, the new Rock Memrock, and uh, Sako's with his Roman and never lose any life, win full health every time. So very, very strong. And I've seen video of it too. Works super well. Mine's going up too. Uh, so he was number three in a very close contest. contest. Uh, my pick for three, and Roman would have been four, um, was Drew. He ended up being fourth on our stock watch. Um, the things I like about Drew are why I think he will continue to be good uh, long-term. Uh, th this is the moveset I prefer with him. Um, if you put Rizar on him, he has turned one in feud. If you don't have Rizar, you can use Soccer Mom AJ, Tech AJ. Um, and you're choosing two, three matches to get the overhead belly-to-belly -belly and the Claymore kick. He is a real uh, hybrid where he is doing high move damage, and high gem damage so he combines both um and his best uh setup in my opinion is with a high green move damage metal and then uh some fury preferably fury metals to go with him so how i've started running him now after um having enough time to play him at the this level is i have a fury and a takedown set my green metal is takedown so you can see my blue gem damage is almost 60%. My green move damage is almost 170%. And this plate, I really believe to be the best option now at this point. The two words for you plate um, makes when that goes off, which is almost all the time, when you hit the finisher, um, you're breaking more of those snowfall gems and they're setting off the two words plate. And you're just, you're basically blowing up the whole board. So at like five star silver, uh, just and he's not. You can see he's not even maxed. Most of the time, uh, my finisher is doing well over four hundred thousand in just gem damage. That's before the move damage, uh, in just gem damage with Drew. So, pretty easy pick to make the top five. Really, really good. Um, so that's where he was. Number five was Priest, Damian Priest, and I feel like he could easily have been higher, um, but. The things that um, that make him good are his high move damage. He's got a very high finisher um, with bleed on it, a very high bleed. It is high charge at 13. Um, he can recycle if you use the sidewalk slam. That is high charge as well. And uh, if you use the clothesline, um, it makes an area. Um, the area gets bigger and goes to 3x3 three three and can ca cause pinning issues, but I believe he has a choose right here um with the seven mp blue and you can use that just like i do drew um to set up with rezzer and be turn one in feud and a five match and a three match in feud gets you there um you just can't cascade if you if you cascade then it's on to turn two but you're gonna win turn two 
I think for this time, um, when we were talking about it, and none of us, uh, I don't think, actually use Priest a ton. Uh, I know I don't have him. But the, the tendency to pin was our big concern there with him because of the high charge moves and stuff. But um, So that's why we had him at 5. He could easily have been much higher because the move damage is there. And the, the bleed is there. Uh, so he could easily have been much higher, but where we placed him was 5. Our concern was potential early cascades. Um, but that there are ways around that. And if you have um, like Hollywood Hogan, then you don't need um, a 5 and a 3. You just need 2, 3 matches with plus 2 on your feud perks. In which case, you no longer worry about pinning early at all. Um, because, you know, you're making two, three matches, so it's generally not a problem at all. And even doing the five and three, he's not going to pin probably even half the time. You're probably talking, if you set it up right, <clears throat> you're probably talking like maybe one out of four he'll pin, one out of five, maybe even less, maybe one out of ten. Um, so it's a very small complaint. Like I said, he could easily have been higher, um, but he's in the top five of the stock watch, which is, uh, in a loaded class like tech, is amazing. Um, so all of those guys are great. Even a bunch of these honorable mentions we're going to talk about now, guys, are super good techs. So, um, where we went with our honorable mention and we have to stop somewhere. So there's people not on it. Uh, we've decided to cut honorable mentions off by five, if not sooner, or we can just keep going forever. I want to call out, uh, MVP is the free to play one. Uh, we felt unanimously like he was the best free-to-play uh, tech card available. Um, and I'm a big fan. He can do a lot of stuff for you. Eventually, I can see myself taking mine five-star. It unlocks that next green move, which is actually pretty good. Uh, he's he can, he can cycle through all of his moves, and there's a bunch of different viable move sets. And um, he's got solid move damage on all of them. Um, a lot of destroys, but he's got this silence gem built here that uh, make eight silence gems into green gems. So I know in my preview, I really like this moveset um, and just going back and forth with those. And then the finisher, you're destroying a four by three area, which is a lot. Twelve gems is pretty big on a finisher for a destroy. Um, so you can start recycling. Uh, plus there's, you know, different skill plates you could use to enhance the, the colors you need to get. Um, and I believe the five star move, if I recall correctly, um, does something with yellow, either destroy yellow. So you quit, I quit using the finisher at five star and then it recycles much, much easier. And then there's this move set here, uh, red to green, choose nine green gems to destroy and then destroy black gems that can cycle back and forth. You can also use the two blacks with the finisher. And you can see it's all like, even at 4-star gold, you know, 35k, 38k, 28k. It's just solid move damage, a lot of different build potentials, so it gives you flexibility for line bonuses and stuff. So all of us actually a pretty big fan of MVP, and I can easily see myself taking mine 5-star um, in the not super distant future. Plus, if you played the MLC, you probably got a 20% gem damage strap, which is uh, nothing to sneeze at. So that was our free-to-play mention, MVP. Great card to take up if he is indeed your best option. You can see he's fairly high on my tech list. No, that is not my steamboat. Um, so, some of the other honorable mentions. I do not have Kofi. He was certainly there. Big argument for Kofi getting into the top five. Um, and it was, it was, it was fairly close. Um... Kofi with the 1 MP moves and the buff move and the honky tonk man plate. Uh, the fact that he can show down and feud, he's super versatile. Um, he could have been in there. I mean, a lot of the guys on the honorable mention list could have. Kofi, High Chief, and Cena all were talked about for that fifth spot. Um, there's basically eight techs that are really, really good and could be in, in, in your top five future proof techs in those, you know there's you have to make a decision anyway kofi can do a lot of stuff for you he's got he's gonna buff his his the strength of his gems is gonna grow he can feud he can show down it's a one mp move so you don't need an mp trainer there's a lot to love about kofi um 
So uh, he was one of our honorable mentions. Um, then we move on to um, High Chief, Peter Maivia. I know a lot of people don't know a ton about the uh, High Chief. Um, I have, don't have mine recruited yet. I'm still a little ways away, 190 shards. But he can do a lot of stuff. He's got a pretty strong finisher, green finisher. I want to say at uh, five star silver, it's around 150k. Uh, with uh, a choose one by six area to swap into red gems, so that's nothing to sneeze at. And he's got a bunch of low one and two charge moves that hit really hard, like 50 to 60k. Um, so he can bust out a bunch of moves really quick. So like a two words plate on him. Um, and you're just going like back and forth, uh, with your moves and you're getting, um, cross breaks on the board, you know, you get to the finisher, you can do that he, at five star. He's got a really nasty sub, um, that can do some stuff for you. So just really good versatility on him. Legendary attack, the, the best legendary attack. Um, I think, I don't think I'm forgetting about anyone there. Um, it's got a gem damage increase that can do some stuff. And when these, when this two by two random area into purple gems hits another purple, it, it gets ridiculous really, really fast. Um, Cause you got buff move and you got the hip throw to go back to green. You can, it, it can end up getting pretty crazy. So he, there was talk uh, for him in the top five, um, really, really solid tech, really good card. Um, and a legend era, so it's always nice to have those legends. Okay. Where are we at next? Um, High Chief Cena, so Tech Cena. Um, Tech Cena was my first five star silver. Um, when he first came out, Feud was still in the seven MP, was turn one meta, um, and he was very, very strong. Uh, he still is, even using two MP trainers. Um, how did I go by all my techs again? Because I was talking, sorry. Um, you can still use uh, two MP trainers on him. You lose the bleed co trainer, not the end of the world. Uh, recycles for days. Uh, the one downside is potential early pins with the 7x1. Then you hit the, uh, the sub and you reload the reds and you're just looping it. You're looping it for days. Um, you're, you're subbing, you're bleeding, you're draining, you're, you're recycling. There's a lot to like there. When Cena gets started on you in a feud, he is no fun to play against. Um, and he can, he can mess you up. Um, he also has this proto bomb build, which can get pretty big, um, with these countdown gems that, uh, make six random gems into silence. Uh, you get a lot of countdowns on there. It's a little bit slower. It's a more of a turn two slow burn kind of thing. Uh, but he can dish out some damage with that proto bomb silence build too. So um, he's an interesting card and a lot of fun. And you can see mine's five star silver. So uh, and I don't regret that. Um, he was my first five star silver, and he's really good. Now, I took him five star ahead of Sako actually. Uh, so he makes our he makes our honorable mentions and uh, there is a uh, debate for him in the top five as well. After that, they kind of drop off a little bit. Um, we uh, honorable mention Gargano. He had a short reign where him and Champa were really crazy with their with their showdown link with all the green gem damage. Uh, Gargano can still do a lot of things with that tag link and without it. If you buff your green gem damage, this roll-up kick can get really nasty. He's got a sub that, you know, the gems leave a bunch of X breaks. Um, you know, choose to destroy. There's just a lot of stuff to like with Gargano. He's got a pretty... I found with him, he's very polarizing, though. People either love him or hate him. And the people that love him really, really like this card. Um, so he made our honorable mention as someone that can still do a lot. For a while, he was definitely one of the best techs in the game. He would have made this top five uh, future, probably, in a lot of cases, you know, before the move damage era that we're currently in. But he can still do some stuff. And the last um, the last one is another one I don't have. A lot of techs I don't have on this, actually. Uh, Motu Taker. He can he can do some stuff with a lot of a lot of different things, actually. Plus, he's got over-the-top move animations. Move charges are a little bit high. 
but he can blow up the board. He can do a bunch of different choosing. He drops X breaks down, botch gems. Um, he's just pretty nasty too. And obviously, once you're going, you're you're doing a, a lot of crazy stuff. Also, the finisher I believe will lay down six rows of botches um, at uh, five star silver. I think it is. So you're botching almost the whole board. That's kind of scary to try and kick out of a lot of times. So this is the stock watch for the techs. It's going to be really interesting uh, to see how they hold up in just one month with the advent of five star gold and how close we were this short of a time frame turnaround it's going to be really uh interesting to see how close we were as far as trying to future proof um our recommendations i feel like um a lot of the top five is probably in a good place but maybe not some of the honorable mentions so it'll be interesting to see whose stock is going up and whose is going down and i'm trying to think right off um drew uh, also is really, and I didn't mention this, stipulation tours. Drew can obviously do yellow with his finisher. The snowfall gems cover blue. And he can even do some green stip. So he's a really good stipulation card. Um, Cena actually, um, he could maybe do some with the, the one by six and the fact that he recycles and the subs don't count against you on turns. So he can maybe do some green. Um, I don't know if he can do enough quite to max it or anything, but he does recycle, so maybe he could. Um, I don't personally know about Dawkins, but I know he does put out like 14 or 15 green gems, so he could maybe be a green stipulation guy in a pinch, and Priest has an area and can pin, but I don't think, I think by far Drew of the techs we talked about would be the go-to for stipulations for most of them. Um, so I did want to mention that too as another versatility to Drew that I didn't talk about. Um, you might notice who wasn't on the list, and that was Sako. And this might surprise a lot of people. We did not put Sako as an honorable mention. I'm sure a lot of people will not agree with that. Um, we even, um, before Five Star Gold, did not feel like Sako would scale well into the future. Um, and I felt that for a while. That's personally why I left mine at Five Star Bronze. Um, so that, that is the list of the stock watch. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you don't disagree with it too much. Uh, hopefully I don't upset any of you. Like if you don't make an honorable mention, you, your guy, your card, I'm not picking on you. There's lots and lots of good text. It's a very deep class. A lot of these were really tough decisions. I am looking forward to, um, having discussion, debate, that kind of stuff moving forward. My server, if you're on my Discord server, has a spot uh, to talk about these, uh, the stock watches, what you agree with, what you don't. It's quite a bit of fun. And I did get permission, and a lot of people were asking about who the stockbrokers were, the people helping out, because I keep referring to we. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call them out in alphabetical order here. Uh, we got Arrogant Bastard. We have Dr. Sparks, Hanson141. Merrick's Gaming, Regular Reggie, Scotco Blue, Southside Envy, Stealth Op 2, and Team Sofa are are the, the main contributors as far as debating and talking about the cards and coming up with our list. I do get DMs from other people as well. You guys know who you are. I appreciate you. Um, so I get DMs from other people or I'll even DM other people sometimes on a character I don't personally have to see if I'm off base on it. Nothing is perfect. And in this, again, reminds you, this is not a tier list. Uh, we're here to try and help people future proof their roster as much as possible, build for the future and make good choices. And I do want to thank all of those guys that are stockbrokers. They give up a bunch of their time to help out with this and give their input. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. So thanks for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Other than that, guys, good luck out there.